On the sunny morning of June 18th, a submersible named Titan, belonging to Ocean Gate Expeditions, embarked on a dive to explore the iconic Titan wreckage site and went missing. Before we proceed, let's delve into Ocean Gate, an American company specializing in ocean expeditions, tourism, research, and exploration. This submersible represents the epitome of modern technology and innovation, which is a fascinating expedition company revolutionizing deep sea exploration. Established in 2009, they aim to unlock the secrets of the ocean's depths. With over 100 years since the Titanic sank, this expedition offers a unique opportunity to assess the wreck's condition and gather valuable data. Ocean Gate's impressive submersibles can descend to depths of 4,000 meters, and their expeditions have already attracted more than 1,000 participants. Constructed with a combination of titanium and carbon fiber, this submersible is lighter and more maneuverable than traditional steel or titanium-based counterparts, fueling a deep fascination with the mysteries of the deep. The size of the submersible, which is comparable to the interior of a minivan, it emphasizes the potential risks and challenges associated with submersibles, including power failures, communication failures, or leaks in the pressure hull. The mission fees for Ocean Gate's expeditions to the Titanic wreck are stated to be around $250,000 per person. Inside the submersible, one will find a cylindrical metal structure providing seating for the passengers. The interior space is akin to that of a minivan, with limited room for movement. Although headroom is minimal and there are no chairs, overhead lighting ensures visibility. The submersible's design incorporates a life support system capable of sustaining a five-person crew for at least 96 hours in deep water, ensuring their survival amidst the vast ocean depths. Yet, fate had other plans in store. On that fateful day, June 18th, the submersible vanished without a trace, leaving the world stunned and desperate for answers. In the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, an expedition that promised to unravel the mysteries of the Titanic wreckage took an unexpected turn. The Ocean Gate Expedition Submersible, a vessel brimming with hope and cutting-edge technology, embarked on a perilous journey. Little did they know that this adventure would transform into a heart-wrenching tale of survival against the odds. The victims of this tragic event include individuals from different backgrounds and nationalities. Among them was Hamish Harding, a British billionaire and renowned explorer known for his passion for aviation and space travel. Pakistani businessman Shahzada Daoud and his 19-year-old son Suleiman were also on board. Additionally, French oceanographer Paul-Henri Najilat and Stockton Rush, the American founder and CEO of Ocean Gate Expeditions, were among the passengers who tragically perished. Within two hours of the dive on June 18th, the submersible lost communication with the command ship, which depended on Musk's Starlink service. While it is uncertain whether Starlink service failure played a role in the submersible's disappearance, it raises the possibility of a communication malfunction between the submersible and the command ship. OceanGate has previously praised Musk Starlink technology for enabling successful Titanic wreckage explorations. As the days passed since the submersible went missing, concerns mounted, not only for the lives of those aboard, but also for Twitter's CTO, Elon Musk. With his technological prowess, Musk had become a symbol of innovation and progress. However, this incident threatened to tarnish his reputation, casting a dark shadow over his achievements. In the wake of this tragedy, questions have arisen regarding the submersible's design and safety measures. Concerns have been raised about the choice of materials, such as the carbon fiber and titanium hull, which have been subject to criticism for their alleged unsuitability for a submarine intended for deep sea exploration. However, it is important to emphasize that further investigation is necessary to ascertain the exact cause of the implosion and determine if the materials played a role in the incident. Experts believe that in addition to the potential internet service failure, other technical aspects of the submersible may have malfunctioned, preventing one of its seven resurfacing mechanisms from activating. Under normal circumstances, the submersible would have resurfaced after losing communication, but this has not yet occurred. Moreover, Criticisms have been directed at the technical aspects and safety measures of the submersible. Reports indicate that during testing in the Bahamas, certain components of the submarine appeared subpar, with the use of industrial piping for ballast and an Xbox controller for steering. 
Questions about the submersible's safety were previously raised by industry experts in 2018, and in a lawsuit filed by a former head of marine operations at OceanGate, which was later settled. However, in a race against time, the extensive search effort involved multiple agencies from various countries, including the U.S. and Canadian Coast Guards, who launched an unprecedented search and rescue operation. Ships comb the ocean's vast expanses, their crews braving treacherous conditions, fueled by the unwavering determination to save the lives of those trapped beneath the waves. However, the discovery of debris by an unmanned deep-sea robot brought the operation to a heart-wrenching end. Rear Admiral John Mauger of the U.S. Coast Guard explained that the found debris, including the tail cone of the submersible, pointed to a catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber, implying an implosion. But as the clock ticked ominously, hope began to dwindle, and the question hung heavy in the air. Would they find the missing submersible in time? Adding another layer of intrigue to this perplexing saga, Elon Musk's connection to the submersible's disappearance emerged. The vessel relied on Musk's revolutionary Starlink service for communication, elevating the stakes of this unfolding drama. While no concrete evidence implicates Starlink in the vanishing, the possibility of a communication malfunction lingers, casting doubts and raising unsettling questions. OceanGate, the organization behind the ill-fated expedition, had previously praised Musk's Starlink technology for its role in successful Titanic wreckage explorations. Yet, now they grapple with the possibility that technical failures may have contributed to the submersible's disappearance. Experts speculate that beyond potential internet service issues, other critical mechanisms within the vessel may have malfunctioned, preventing its resurfacing after losing communication with the command ship. A haunting silence persists, as the submersible's location remains unknown. The unfolding drama carries the weight of not only human lives, but also the reputation of a visionary entrepreneur. Elon Musk's legacy as a tech pioneer now teeters on a precipice. The world eagerly awaits updates on the search efforts, longing for a miracle that would reunite the missing crew with their loved ones. Yet should the investigation uncover any technical shortcomings, the repercussions for Musk and his achievements could be substantial. The situation remains critical as search and rescue efforts continue, and the entire incident poses significant challenges to Elon Musk's reputation particularly if it is discovered that any technical failures or shortcomings contributed to the submersible's disappearance. The news of the submersible's discovery and the fate of its occupants brought some closure to the situation. However, it also raised several unanswered questions. People are now wondering whether the incident could have been prevented, either through better operator training or if there were issues with the submersible itself. This has led to speculation about potential legal action by the families of the victims particularly considering allegations of safety concerns that had been raised in the past against the CEO of OceanGate, the company that operated the submersible. The search for the wreckage was a challenging task due to the vast area of the ocean floor that needed to be covered. The depth, extreme cold, darkness, and high pressure at the site added to the difficulty of the mission. Comparisons were made to previous deep-sea salvage operations, such as the recovery of an F-35 fighter jet wreckage which took 37 days from the same depth as the Titanic. The issue has also brought attention to the issue of burnout among high-profile creators. Kifu, a prominent streamer, recently announced a long break from streaming due to burnout. Other creators, including PewDiePie and MrBeast, have also spoken about the challenges of maintaining a healthy work-life balance in the fast-paced world of content creation. The experiences and perspectives shared by these creators highlight the need to prioritize mental health and find sustainable ways to manage workload and creative output. In this gripping tale of courage, uncertainty and the relentless pursuit of truth, the fate of the OceanGate Expedition submersible hangs in the balance. As the world watches, holding its collective breath, one can only hope that the missing vessel and its occupants will soon be found, bringing an end to this captivating and tragic chapter. As we delve more into the recent incident involving a Titanic submersible, the wreckage of the sub was found in scattered fragments, suggesting a catastrophic implosion. The submersible had five people on board, and it was initially believed that they were trapped at the bottom of the ocean. However, as the search and rescue efforts intensified, the wreckage of the sub was discovered, and it was confirmed that the passengers had tragically lost their lives. Days turned into tense nights as the search continued relentlessly. Then, on June 23rd, 
a devastating announcement was made by the U.S. Coast Guard. All five passengers on board the submersible were declared deceased, although their bodies remain unrecovered. Currently, only the wreckage of the submersible itself has been located, resting approximately 1,600 feet away from the Titanic shipwreck, a mere half a kilometer from the historic site. The news has brought profound grief to the families of the victims and the entire unified command involved in the search and rescue mission. The loss of these five lives is a tremendous tragedy that will be felt across the world. The Unified Command, along with Ocean Gate Expeditions, has expressed their deepest condolences to the families, acknowledging the immense sorrow they are experiencing during this difficult time. The loss of the Ocean Gate Expedition submersible and the lives of its passengers is a somber reminder of the risks involved in deep sea exploration. It highlights the importance of robust safety measures and thorough evaluations of equipment in such ventures. As the investigation continues, it is hoped that valuable lessons can be learned from this tragic event to prevent similar accidents in the future and ensure the safety of those involved in underwater expeditions. The international community mourns the loss of these five individuals and stands in solidarity with their grieving families.